Hi guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. The holidays are literally here. I have been meaning to do this video for so long. I wanted to show you guys all of my favorite things. I love to kind of reference that famous holiday song. And I thought it would be kind of a cute video to kind of showcase all of my favorite either products or things that you can give as gifts for the holidays. I had been meaning to do this video a lot more sooner than now. I know that this is kind of a last minute thing, but it might give you guys some ideas for some last minute gifts. Some of these things may not necessarily be standalone gifts, but I had a really cute idea for like any plant parents in my life to do like a plant survival kit. So you kind of can just group together a couple cool things or a couple things that some Someone may need to start off in their plant journey or just kind of like necessities that you may need or kind of run out of and you can make like a cute little basket or a cute little kit and you can give that as a gift so some of these again may not be like standalone gifts but I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because Honestly, any of these I would be really happy to get, but some people may be like, oh, that's kind of a weird gift. I think I'm gonna be doing this like every year. I'm gonna show you guys like kind of my favorite things from the year. So you guys can kind of see like, maybe there's certain things or certain tools or products that I've been using on my plants that have been working wonders. And it also gives me a chance to really test them out before I can give you guys an honest review. And speaking of reviews, None of these I am sponsored. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. These are just my honest to God reviews. Like these are just really just my opinion on all of these products. So let's just dive in and talk about my favorite products. But like always, before we get into that, please like this video if you like this kind of content. And also please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, again, like most of my like favorite things or like videos like this, I don't really have a specific order. It's just kind of how I grab things like off camera. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about isn't my most favorite thing, but it is something that I use on my plants regularly. Like I use this all the time on my plants. I swear by it. I tell new plant parents to get it, especially if you have a fiddle leaf fig. And I'm talking about Super Thrive. This stuff is amazing. Guys, if you don't have this, or if you know a plant parent that does not have this, they need it. They absolutely need it. This is essentially like a multivitamin for your plants. This isn't a fertilizer, but you can mix it in with your fertilization process over like the spring and summer months. But this is such an amazing product. It actually does kind of smell a lot like vitamins, so it has that kind of vitamin-y smell. It's not pleasant. But what you do is you mix a little bit in with your water and you just water your plants. I actually like to put a little bit of this in like pre-soaked moss when I do like propagations and also I'll add a tiny, tiny bit to my plants that are water propagating. This has helped. Um, I actually found this product a little over a year ago when I got my fiddly fig, my big fiddly fig that you guys, if you haven't seen my fiddly fig video, check it out because it's a beast, it's a monster. This was the product that I swear saved it. When I got it, I didn't really know anything about fiddly figs. So I didn't realize that they're very picky about location, they're very picky about watering, they're very kind of picky about really everything. Until you get a routine down, they can give you such a struggle. Now, the fiddly fig that I have wound up dropping leaves like crazy. When I first got it, I just repotted it, took all the soil off of the root ball, and repotted it with brand new soil in a bigger pot, and it just was in shock. It was in utter shock. And I was doing research and research and research and I wound up finding this product, Super Thrive. And it had literally, my fiddly fig stopped dropping leaves. It like did a 360. So if you have a fiddly fig that's like dropping leaves, try it out. It won't hurt it, honestly. It's actually made for transplant shock. So 
I actually have not had a international export plant in my collection. I've just never wanted to really kind of mess with that. I know that it can be hard to like acclimate those plants, but that is a goal for 2022 is I want to buy a plant from like Indonesia or a place like that where I can actually learn how to acclimate plants so I can tell you guys how to do that. And I'm definitely going to be adding this into that process because even plants that I get from like the mail locally wind up getting some sort of shock. I mean, they're in a dark box for several hours to several days and you know, especially this time of year where it's colder, they can kind of go through like a shock. This will actually kind of help revive them, at least in my opinion, it has. I really, the plants that I have used this on, I feel like adapt better than the plants that I have not used this on. So, I mean, I can't really speak for how that plant would have been if I didn't because I don't have a time machine, but I can speak for the ones that I have and it has just been amazing. So, Super Thrive is definitely something that you'll wanna keep in your little plant kit. So definitely a great gift to give to somebody or something to add to your plant survival kit if you do that. So the next one of my favorite things, it's actually something kind of funny. When I first started this channel, I got this by accident. I actually ordered a moss pole um, off of Amazon and it came with these like little tools. And that is gonna be my next favorite thing, are these little tiny potting tools. These, now they, the ones that I got are like really cheap because again, they came for free. But um, these are like so amazing like stupidly amazing. They are great at getting into the like little nooks and crannies of like a smaller pot or anything like that. Like this little guy, I have no idea what this is for, but I like to just go in and gently, I mean, you have to be careful cause it's got kind of a sharper edge, but I just kind of go in and irritate the soil. I'll even use like the bottom and I'll like irritate the soil cause you should aerate your soils like, try every month but you know at least when you start to notice the soil getting a little bit more compact just kind of like mess it up like really like dishevel it it really helps kind of aerate and kind of circulate the soil so it's really good for that again i don't really know what this is for that's all i really use this for and then this is great to get into the little like cracks even in the middle of your plot like i don't know if you have this issue like i do but when i repot a plant sometimes i have a hard time getting in the middle especially if it's like a, like a pothos i have a hard time getting in the middle of that plant without covering it in dirt so this actually helps like get into the little like small areas that you can't get with like a big spade or something like that. So these are great. Um, these you can find on Amazon um, for like super cheap. Also, any of the stuff that I mentioned today, I'm going to link in the description. Some might be affiliate links. I will disclose that. Um, basically affiliate links are if you buy the item from the link, I'll get a small portion of that sale, but you don't have to, you can kind of just research it on your own, that's totally fine. But all of this will be linked below so you guys can buy exactly what I'm talking about and also kind of, you know, see for yourself. So those are amazing. Those are like great little like tools that you can add into like a little kit or anything like that. Um, these also would be great as like stocking stuffers. You can just throw these in a little stocking and yeah, you got like cute little tools. I've had these, like I said, it's been starting to rust. They kind of sit in my garage, which gets like pretty great humidity. <laughs> um, and like we've noticed like my husband's like toolbox, like some of the tools are starting to rust. So these are starting to rust because they live in the same spot. And, um, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, it, I, like I said, they were kind of free. So I am super happy with it, but these are normally like two, three dollars, I think on Amazon. So yeah, so those are like little tools that you can add. So another one of my favorite things is kind of silly, but I noticed that this is a common tool for a lot of people that I follow like on Instagram or anything like that. I see these all the time and that is irrigation bottles.
These irrigation bottles are so great. And another really cheap thing that you can add to your plant toolbox or a gift, these are amazing, guys. Like, I can't tell you enough. What this does is not only does it have like measurements on the side so you can see like how much water each plant is getting. I like the fact that it's clear because then you can kind of, you know, basically see like, again, how much water you're giving your plant. And also this is great for treatments. Now, when I say treatments, I mean like, when I'm going around with my hydrogen peroxide water and I'm trying to kill like, you know, fungus gnats or something like that, you want to make sure that you get the total surface area of the soil. And this is great because you can get like the entire surface area of the water and get everything evenly wet and saturated without like drowning your plants. So this is great. I mean, I wouldn't recommend like watering a plant bigger than like six inches with this because you'll just be literally dumping water all day on it. But this is great for like, just like a quick top water if you have like fungus gnats and you want to water them with hydrogen peroxide. This is great. I even water my big fiddly fig with this when I have like you know, hydrogen peroxide in it or anything like that. It's also great because if you squeeze it, <laughs> it has like, it kind of shoots out. Because it shoots out, it's great to wet down moss poles. So you can get like a moss pole really wet kind of evenly without like having to like dunk it in water or anything like that. You can just really like wet it down and it's easier than spraying your moss poles. I also found that this is really easy to water like smaller plants. Um, or plants that like, for instance, like for me, like I have some plants that are kind of higher up on like hanging like in my windows. So it's great for those plants. So I can kind of like water without like really knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> so this irrigation bottle, gotta get it. It's like, like I said, like two, three dollars on Amazon. Super quick, super easy, and super cheap, and just a great stocking stuffer. So another great stocking stuffer that I would recommend is a hygrometer. These are going to be your lifesaver, especially for the winter months. You're gonna to wanna to monitor and make sure that the temperature and the humidity is right for your plants and your home. So the one that I got is by Duquas? Duquas? I don't know. I got it on Amazon. It's, and I actually just ordered a second one because I usually keep this guy on my plant shelf behind me, um, but I actually want one for my table in front of my southeast facing window, just so I can kind of monitor how warm it gets over there because the really morning sun is just really hard on my plants. And I just want to kind of make sure that they're not like baking in the sun and also, kind of just to see how well my humidifier is working. And that brings me to my next thing. So my next favorite thing is gonna be a humidifier. You guys, if you don't have a humidifier, you gotta get one. You can get humidifiers in any size, really any shape. You can spend hundreds of dollars on humidifiers or like tens of dollars on humidifiers. They come in cute little like cats. They come in giant towers. Like you can get humidifiers in any budget, in any size, in any shape, and in really any color that will fit your style and that will kind of hide in to your plants. I've even seen humidifiers that look like cute little plant pots. The one that I have is a Raydrop humidifier. I got it for the, I think I got it in March or April of this year and it has been amazing. I run it from about like nine to five, uh, usually when the sun goes down, especially again around this time of year, I kind of turn it off a little bit earlier. So once the sun kind of goes away for the day, I kind of make sure that I at least turn it down, make sure that it's not like blasting on them because if the sun isn't out, 
to dry out any of that extra moisture. You can wind up getting like mildew and fungus on your leaves and you don't want that. So just kind of like monitor that, especially in the winter time. I absolutely love that humidifier. It is like a beast. I also have a tiny little like bookcase humidifier behind me. It has a cute little rainbow light on it. So when I have my hygrometer over there, the humidity over there is anywhere from like 50% to like 60 to 70%. Um, I've even seen it go up to 80. So it gives it a good curtain of humidity and it also kind of drapes down into the next shelf below, which has some philodendrons in there. So that is actually a great thing for like a small space. If you only need a little bit of humidity or you have like just a few plants that might need that extra humidity, like a Calethea, then you can get like a smaller one like that too. And it also will just be really compact and kind of fit in your area. Where the bigger one for me is like, I have to kind of figure out where I'm gonna put it. Um, so that's kind of a little bit different. So the next thing that I wanna say, and it's something that I am like weirdly passionate about, but I absolutely love like plant aesthetics. I love to show off my plants in certain pots. I feel like for my plants, I think that like their right pot is like a right outfit for your plant. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but that is gonna be my next topic is just cute planters. Everybody loves a cute planter. I don't know anybody who is just like, yeah, I don't really care about planters. And like even cute like jars like this, like this propagation station is so pretty. I got this for like two, three dollars in March. And it was just, it's just so cute. Cute jars, cute vases, uh, really like, like you can go to like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, even like Michaels and like Joanne Fabrics has like planters and stuff like that. You can virtually find them anywhere. I'll kind of do a video on how I style my plants. I know that kind of sounds again, kind of silly, but I do have a certain technique that I do when I need to find the right pot for a plant. Not only do you need to kind of be weary of plastic versus clay and ceramic, but also like, I like to kind of style them up. So I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon in the near future. Cute planters, jars, anything like that, they're just perfect. I know that I said that there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm grabbing things, but I have to say that this is probably, if I had to make a list, this would be at least on the top three of one of my favorite things. And that's because it has been my little sidekick since the beginning of the summer. And that is Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. I have this, this is in the concentrate bottle. Um, you can get like just the spray bottle or the concentrate. You get a little more bang for your buck when you get the concentrate and you just can like buy a water bottle or reuse one. I use like an old method bottle, uh, like a method cleaner bottle that I really cleaned out well and I actually just mix it up in there. But this stuff guys is what has been keeping the thrips at bay. And really any of the pests that I have in my house, they have just been like, I literally watch them die as I'm spraying it. It's like a weird like psycho thing, but it's also super satisfying. This stuff is just so great. I love this so much because my go-to before was neem oil. I love neem oil, it worked great, made my plants shine. And I still do use it as a leaf, like shiner or leaf cleaner. I hate the smell of it. The smell of neem oil haunts my dreams. And it literally makes your entire house smell like it, at least for me, like it made my whole house smell like neem oil. My floors were glistening with neem oil. My shower smelled like neem oil. Like it was just, I, I had to do it. I had to get something else that didn't, was just not neem oil that worked because neem oil does work really well. This is virtually odorless. It does have a very, very small scent, but it doesn't linger like neem oil. It doesn't stay around like neem oil and it doesn't make your plants smell like it. So 
win-win for that. I will never use anything else when it comes to pest control for my plants because that stuff is just amazing. It's just great. And it's not super expensive either, which again, win-win. <sighs> So that's it guys, that is it for my favorite things. Um, I wish that this video was a little bit more holiday, a little more cheery, but um, you know, kind of last minute for me, I kind of realized that, oh, Amanda, you didn't do a holiday video. So here it is, um, and I hope you guys have a great holiday, no matter what you're celebrating or if you don't celebrate anything, have a great day. So that's it for today. Again, all of these will be listed below and let me know in the comments if there is anything that I may have left out that you guys are loving right now or things that I may not know about. Because again, I wanna do a video like this like every year. I think this was gonna be my like holiday video is I wanna do a video like this every year on like my top favorite things of the year. So you guys can kind of see like what I've been using and yeah. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great day and happy holidays.